it's kind of like that vibe where it's like, but people feel like, like when you look at them and you're like, oh, they just don't care. And you're like, dude, that's so fucking dope. That's what I get. That's what I get. Th- this is big for me, man, because for real, for real, V's that dude, man. For me, V's that dude. He. Hey, welcome to another episode of Super Dupa. And this one is super special. Because we're reacting to V's Love Me Again. And the reason why I say this one's special is because back in the day, when we first started reacting to uh, BTS on the Amp Theory, we actually got reached out by ARMY, by one ARMY, and she sent us a whole bunch of videos that we should check out in our preparation for doing the podcast we did on the history of K-pop and bts and in one of those well one of those videos that was given to us there was a song called singularity that i was like huh this is something that i'm really into and when i heard singularity um and i heard the voice i was like yo i like this i really like it you know since v was the first one that i gra- gravitated to I was like, yeah, that guy's my bias. And I've kind of just stuck with him because, you know, there's something about his voice, the, the the lower baritone, the fact that he can still hit all the octaves, even though his voice is lower. He has a classical sound to his voice. It was just something that I was really digging. And now my boy came out since I've been a fan of, of BTS uh, with his first single, now that, I've, that I'm a fan and I'm, I'm excited. And I'm, I'm so excited, I'm sweating. So if y'all don't know why I sweat sometimes on this video is because I am uh, recording in my garage uh, in Texas and it's freaking hot. So it, it's not going to be the fact that I'm reacting to V and that I could be anxious and excited, which causes me to sweat a little bit. While that may be a great theory and maybe a good um, um, hypothesis to have, I guess we'll never really know. But I'm gonna stop talking because I'm really excited and I wanna get into this. V, Love Me Again, music video. Let's go. Oh. Alright, come on, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, all right. The fact that starting off with some guitar the instrument I play. Is this V's way of shouting me out? I think so, but you know, I'm not gonna put him, you know, I'm not gonna put rumors out there, but V, if it is, I got you, my boy. Um, and then that little sample, I don't think it's him, it doesn't sound like him, but that sounds dope. Let's let's just listen to it again. Oh damn! Ooh, hold up. My boy is wearing all gold, looking like a twenty-four karat magic celestial being. I, I like I like the get up. Um, I wasn't expecting him to be kind of like you know that dirty blonde. Um, that that's a new look. I thought he had the the longer black hair, but hey, you know what? One thing we know about my boy V, he could pull off all these different looks. But don't you hear how even though his voice is like deep, it's just like it melts into the song. Let's just let's just listen to that again, because he's got the, like this whispery way of singing that's so beautiful. That's an interesting choice in the drum track because it's you know obviously really R and B. I would have liked to have a hard snare, right? But decided to go with a soft clap. I don't know how I feel about that, but let let's go back into it. 
Shut up. Shh, shut your mouth. First of all, when when he's da 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 like like that was dope, and then he hits those high notes. Let's listen. Oh, check out my dog. Yeah. Oh. Like like karaoke. So that's this is a theme that I've seen a lot with videos lately. Is they they cut out into the old VHS vibe in the middle of the song, which I really like. It's nostalgic for me because I remember seeing things like this. But that being said, you got the whole karaoke look right here, uh, which is definitely the scene I hope to see when I sing this karaoke. But man, that was a sick, I don't, let's see, because I'm, I'm, I keep stopping. I don't know if that was a chorus or maybe the pre-chorus. I, I am going to be putting this back a lot. I want to listen to this over and over. Let's go. I love that. I wish you could love me again. That, that sounds beautiful. Oh, my boy looking good in a crimson. Hey, day, this is dope. I, I, they're in like some cave. Imagine if you were in some cave, like exploring, all of a sudden you see V on a microphone just singing beautifully. You're like, I don't know if I should be here. All right, so I'm loving this. There's this little kind of organ sounding bum, 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 like in the background that's really like feeding me into the melody. Like that little run, he's like, lost without you, baby. That, 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 I love that little run he does. Look. Uh. I love that. I love that. You got the, the, the it kind of sounds like a, a string string instrument and then now this the claps are replaced by a little you know sound which is super dope
My boy's got soul. Man, V. V, stop. He knows what he's doing. V, I... I'm sick of this song already. He knows what he's doing. He's, he's looking at you and saying, I just want you to love me again. I don't want to love nobody else. Come on, V, I see you. Look, first of all, I love the low keyness of the video. It's just, he's like, I, I love how he makes things look so nonchalant when he's like in the most weird um, setting. He's in some cave right with this whole little retro vibe just like fucking gold plated out or in some like shiny red and, and and he's just like you know just so cool about it right like he's just so chill he's all like i just want you to love me again and i don't want to love nobody else come on bro i'm taking notes v don't be mad when i take notes from v and I repackage them and I make it seem like they're my own. All right? Because it works. It works. Why wouldn't I steal from V? Song, amazing. First of all, I love RB. I love RB guitar. I get some of that. And then you get, like, the thing about his vocals is that he just sings with a whisper, but you hear that his voice is very bassy. And then he'll hit you with some high notes. Beautiful. Like, not even trying hard, you know? It's just kind of like, I just showed up. I just showed up. I'm doing this. And even, like, I think there's something about his face, too, when he just, like, he's just, like... It's kind of like that vibe where it's, like, when people feel like, like, when you look at them and you're, like, oh, they just don't care. And you're, like, dude, that's so fucking dope. That's what I get. That's what I get. Th this is big for me, man, because for real, for real... V's that dude, man. For me, V's that He's dude. Definitely the one that just always catches my attention. Cause also because I feel like I don't sing like V. I'm not saying that, right? But I feel that our voices have the most similarities. Like I'm a you know, I, I don't have the I don't have the deepest voice, but um back when I used to do metal and I used to be a vocalist, I screamed a lot. So my voice and then also uh, played a lot of sports. And in baseball, like you have to like scream out like, hey, like, you know, we have two outs or whatever, right? And it's, I think it like just affected my voice to where I, uh, you know, I feel like me and V have the most similarities. You know, it's like there's a singularity between our personalities, you know? I used to rap a little bit too, you know, it's whatever. Um, this may be a little bit different guys, just cause back in the Amp Theory, like, I don't know if y'all know, but me and V are cousins. They they used to call me Vizquez, Peter Vizquez. My last name is Vasquez, you know? we I have a V in my name. I don't know, I just feel like me and him really bonded. But let's get into the lyrics, you know? Enough about me and V. He says, you left me, took those memories with you. But even now, I can't let you go, let you go. Is that all you have to say? One word, that's it? If ever you regret this, won't you let me know? Let me know. Did he write this? I feel like he wrote this. He's like, man, I can't let you go. You took the memories with you. You just want to say one word. We know what that word is. Bye. Or goodbye. Because that's also one word. And I'm whispering. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. But bye, bye is a word, or goodbye. And if you ever regret this, like if you ever wanna come back, you wanna let me know? Cause he's like, I'm gonna be ready for you. And he says, fine, I'll be honest with you. Put it all out there. I think about you all the time. Where you are, who you're with, lost without you, baby. Boy, he knows how to say things. You know, I feel like, I feel like, you know, like, come on. First of all, let's put you in the place, right? If you left V and he's all like, just lost without you. You wouldn't be like, I I would have to be with V because he's lost. I don't want V to be lost. I'm his map, right? You would say that. I feel like you would. And here's you with that chorus. I wish you would love me again. 
No, I don't want nobody else. I wish you could love me again, again. And he just said, I wish I, I wish you could love me again. I don't want nobody else. I wish you could love me again. I wonder if V's ever really had anybody not love him. I mean, come on, man. But he sells it and that's what's important. I believe him is what I'm saying. Am I the only one like this? Are you okay if I'm with somebody else? Would you be okay? Let's, let's take it way back slowly. Cause it's a slow jam. Make it feel better, yeah, make it forever. Don't say it's okay. Said I'm all right, said I'll be fine. I'm sorry, they're lies. Please don't leave, don't go so far away. You ain't leaving. If he, if he sang this to you, you ain't going nowhere. You're, you're gonna be like, you'd be like packing up your bags and be like, yeah, I'm gonna sit back down. But man, I, 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 all joking aside though, I love the desperation, like the desperation in the lyrics and in the way he sang it because the nonchalantness, the not try, it gave off an essence of despair, of loneliness, of want and need. Let's see. Fine, I'll be honest with you, put it all out there. Think about you all the time, where you are, who you're with. I'm lost. I'm lost without you. And then the chorus, and it says, I wish you would love me again. No, I don't want nobody else. I wish you would love me again. Again. Yeah, man. And it, man, you know, the, the, the one line that did break my heart is when he's like, am I the only one like this? Are you okay if I'm with somebody else? Oh, God, that hurts. That hurts, right? Like we've all been through breakups. And I think again, like he must have been in a breakup if he wrote this. L let me see if it gives me credits. Let's see. Do we have credits? We don't have credits. Let me see. Let me see. I could be wrong. I don't have any credits as to who wrote the song. Let me see if I could find it over here. Let me see if it's in the description of the vid. We got the producer. We got the video producer. Don't don't say you guys let me know. Did he write this? Cuz damn All right, let's break this down song Instrumentation loved it execution of the vocals loved it lyrics Loved it video loved it. Hey, your boy's gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I got to like this ain't no fake love. This is for real because, man, I just feel like like every decision he makes with his music, it's 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 great. It it doesn't go far away from like singularity and how that was. And then I forget the name of the other song he did uh, solo. He he just has a smooth like I feel like with V, it's kind of like when he did that video uh, where he's singing the. Um, the Christmas song, when uh, the jazz, la, la jazz, or however, it, uh, you, you know which one I'm talking about. That that's how I see V, you know, like like just up there with a mic, and and this song just like you see him playing it live, and I want to see him sing it live, and I and I will react to it live. Well, I mean I'm gonna record it, but I'll react to it is what I'm trying to say. All right, uh, how many times do you gotta lock your car? All right. But guys, for real, for real, uh, th this shit is dope. This shit is dope, this shit is cool. Um, what do you think, guys? Now, I've loved every single that everybody's brought out. Jungkook, V's, Jimin's, Jin, well, I'm not gonna name them all. I said all of them, all seven of them. I I've loved everything they've come out with. Honestly, I feel like the, the, they deserve all our support, right? All, all, all seven of the people, because when they bring their powers together and they create Captain Planet, that's, you know, you get BTS and obviously BTS is BTS, but I love these singles because you get a chance to just appreciate them all. Because sometimes it's hard, you know, whenever we react to like a BTS song or something like that, you want to give everybody love, right? Like 
you, you watch a video one time, it's your first time reaction, there's seven of them. You try to see them as a unit, but you know you're missing some bits and pieces until you watch it over and over and over. And then you can finally grasp what everybody's doing. And I think that's why the, the, the fan cams are so popular because you get to focus on one person, right? Um, this makes it a lot easier just reacting to one to, to one at a time, but it goes to show the attributes that every single person brings to the group. Like BTS is seven and without one of them, they wouldn't be BTS. And I don't think they would ever continue without everybody in there. So what I love about this is that they all show each other support. I saw that, you know, um, it was uh, RM, J-Hope, and Jin went to August uh, D's last concert, I believe, something like that. That was dope. That was cool. And now you get this. I'm excited to hear more from V. I, is he, I think he's coming out with a full album. I could be wrong. Uh, and I say full album, but, you know, sometimes K-pop, they be, they be tripping. They'll bring out an album with, like, two, three songs. I'm not saying BTS has done that. I've just seen it, so I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. I hope I get at least eight songs. Ten would be best. It'd be ideal. Um, but either way, uh, if this is all he gives us, this was good. This was good. I like this song. This is going, this is going on the playlist. Um, I might even try to figure out how to play it. Guys, I've also had ideas, right? I'm gonna throw it your way because I, I, you know, you guys are here, the people that subscribe, you're here for something very new, right? And the channel, what it is now, um, while it'll always be like this, I have different ideas. I wanna try new things. I am a musician. And, you know, sometimes I think about like deciphering drum tracks on, on songs, like letting you guys know for, artists that play uh, instruments, you know, what chords they're doing, you know, um, would you guys like to see that? Like, you know, like me, like, you know, show y'all what they're playing so that if you play an instrument, you can just come to the video and you play. I don't know. Let me know if that sounds like something cool. Um, but guys, actually, let's end with a quote, a love quote. Today's quote is going to be from Albert Hubbard. Now, I don't know who that is. But it says, the love we give away is the love we keep. And the way that I read this is this. When you think of, of the people you've loved and that you love, you know, me and my wife have been together for, it's going to be 13 years this year, right? And when I think about the love that I've felt for those 13 years, well, I, I do feel the love my wife gives me, right? And I think about how, 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 she, how much she loves me, right? The one that I feel like closer to me is the love that I feel for her, if that makes any sense. I, like, I don't know if I'm the only one that, that feels that. It's like, same thing for my kids, right? Like, because that, that, that's, that's quite literally the only thing you can feel is the love you have for that person. I think sometimes we hold back from loving people. We don't want to invest so much for nothing. But like my girl Amy Winehouse says, love is a dangerous game. You might give and you might never receive, but you will never know. Like you never stay with somebody forever, right? That you don't put 100% effort into because the love you give away is the love that we keep. It's a love that we rem remember, you know, like, I, I don't think this is out of pocket. I don't think my wife, like our story, we've been together 13 years, hasn't always been great, right? And I was learning, what song? Oh, so I did that Jungkook when he covered Fallen and I got into the lyrics and I, I learned how to play it, right? And it hurt me because just like the the the, the lyrics that V was, was singing, it's like when 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 we were going through those hard times, right? When there was a point where where I didn't have her there with me because we were going through the hard times. It's that pain, that pain of like missing the person that you love, right? Not wanting them to be with anybody else because you want to be with them. 
you know? And, and it sounds selfish and it sucks, right? But when you love, you can't help it. And so it's like, it's all appropriate because I feel like, you know, that passion, that love, you know, f- for that person, you got to risk it for the biscuit is what I'm saying. You feel me? You really do, guys. Don't be afraid to put it all out there. Don't be afraid to be the fool in love, right? Don't be afraid to get your heart broken because that's the only way that you will be satisfied. And if the person ever does go away and they never come back and, and they never love you again, like you will at least be able to close that door because you know that you gave it everything you had right the people that i see that mostly like like really get affected by by those things is when they feel like they didn't give it their all right because then then they feel the regret is like if i did give it my all would have thing would have things been different and uh so just remember that when you hold back your love the only person that you're selling short is yourself from having a beautiful experience. You know, don't be, don't wanna hold on to something so desperately that, it's like when you pick a flower, right? When you fall in love with somebody, like they're a flower. If you if you love looking at that flower so much and you wanna possess that flower so much that you pick it from the ground and you take the life out of it, it will cease to be that flower that you fell in love with and it would, and it will die, it will die, right? That beauty that you fell in love with will go away. So love it, let it be there, give it everything you can. And, uh, you know, hopefully your love will flourish guys. I wish y'all all the best and I hope all your dreams come true. I love you guys. And I really appreciate y'all being here live, subscribe, do all that shit. Love y'all. See y'all later. Peace.